They're more than eyesores. City officials in Daytona Beach call them dangers and have begun the process of getting rid of them. We are talking about derelict boats in the intercoastal waterway, and as West Shoes Claire Metz reports, nearly a dozen have been located. A boat on the water is a beautiful sight unless the boat is in the water rather than on it. City officials in Daytona Beach have identified at least 10 derelict boats in the intracoastal. They actually uh, can leach out fuel, oil, liquids into the waterway. Four of those derelict boats posing what city officials say is imminent danger have already been removed from the river. The rest will come out over the next couple of weeks now that leaders have funded the project. In addition to the environmental hazard, they say the vessels are an obstruction. Boaters could run into them. Uh, the sailboats, they have masts that are actually laying down in the water and you can't even see what's underneath the water so you actually could run over the mast. Several of the boats are underwater, others listing and prone to move with the tide. Who knows where they could end up? The boats have been abandoned for up to two years, and officials have had enough. It will be even stricter business going forward. You won't see it sitting for a year. You won't see it sitting for six months. As soon as we identify it, we'll get it out of the water and get that imminent danger out of the way. In some cases, officials say owners have died or for whatever other reasons just walked away. If officials can track them down, they will try to recover the cost of removal. The vessels are being staged in a riverside parking lot once out of the water. They will be stripped of hazards and ultimately demolished. In addition to derelict boats, the city is going after derelict docks that have been in ruin in some cases since 2016. 39 have been identified so far. Officials say if owners refuse to make repairs, they have a fund set aside to demolish those docks. In Daytona Beach, Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News. City officials say the derelict boats often attract vagrants, which then creates problems, additional problems as well. The removal process will take several weeks.